Hello bitches, welcome back to another draw with me. Today we are going to be talking about the super hot and spicy topic of hate comments. But before we dive in, I'm honestly so shocked at how much work I was able to do in this sketchbook and I'm amazed that we actually got this far because I kind of started doing this series not knowing if I'm really ever going to finish this sketchbook or if I was just going to draw the first few pages and then stop and never do it again, but at this rate it looks like we're really going to finish this shit. And to that, I would just honestly like to say that I'm proud of myself for getting this far in doing a sketchbook in which I haven't completed a sketchbook in a long time now and doing this while juggling a full-time job, graphic novel, and Instagram comics on the side, like, doing this is quite amazing to me and I don't know why I just broke out in a British accent, but it's something that I don't say to myself often and I feel like a lot of us probably don't say that to ourselves often and we just kind of wait for others to say it for us but you should tell yourself that you're proud of completing something that you just recently finished because you probably won't say something like that to yourself often and to that I would like to ask why do we always like to empower hateful comments more than positive ones like whenever someone comments a hate comment or a negative comment for some reason that one always stands out more than all the hundreds of positive ones received from others one question i get frequently asked is how do i deal with hate comments and i'm not one who normally receives an abundance of hate comments at once i don't think i'm there yet and i hope that i don't ever get there but for the times that I do receive hate comments, I've eventually developed this coping mechanism of just only responding to comments kind of within the first 30 minutes or so after I post something because usually the people who first watch your stuff or read your stuff the moment you post it are the people who actually support you, hence why they commented first because they're subscribed to you or they're following you, so therefore they support you in some way. And the hate comments are normally the kind that kind of come afterwards, they kind of appear maybe a week, a few days, or months after you posted the video, which is why I don't really ever go back and look at any of the videos or comics that I've posted, which kind of annoys me because in that case you're really giving the power to the potential haters or negativity and you're not letting yourself really appreciate what you've worked on in the past because you fear just, I don't know, reading something that might upset you or bother you. And that's kind of the case for me. Well, one reason why is I don't really like looking at my old stuff because I just feel like there's going to be a part of myself or something about my art that I'm going to hate looking at because it's only natural that over time you're going to improve, you're going to be working on things so much better than you have before that when I look at the old things that I've produced or drawn, I just can't help but feel disgusted by it because I know that I'm better than what I was. And in a way, I'm kind of like my own hater too because I'm so unsupportive of myself. So yeah. <laughs> so to answer the more literal question of how do you deal with a hater or a hate comment, you can either just ignore it or respond to it. Some people feel better by responding to it, but I personally feel better when I just don't give any energy to it because I might have read it for that split five seconds, but as long as I don't give it any more attention after those five seconds, I am most likely going to forget it after like I go to bed and wake up the next day. But there are times where comments just sit with you in your head and you can't help but keep thinking about it. And that's one I would say that just remember that everybody is going through something and the hater is probably projecting something from their own life onto you. They you, like you have no idea who this hater is. This hater doesn't know anything about you other than what you just choose to put about yourself online. So there's no way that this person can really know everything about who you are to make that statement about you in a way that it could be true because it's all based on assumptions 
friends and I can see why that's annoying because you don't want someone to have this wrong assumption of you but that's when you just have to really put your foot down and be like hey I can't please everyone with how I choose to display myself online because you're doing your best and if this person is going to choose to not like it well that sucks for them for deciding to waste their time to comment on your stuff and choose to spend their energy in that way. I honestly don't understand how people can just choose to write a hate comment and take the time to even, I don't know, say something so negative. Like for me, I'm someone who doesn't even really comment on things to begin with, unless if it's my friend's post. So to go out of my way to comment on someone that I don't even really know and just make this very bold, hateful statement about them when I myself know that I don't even really know them beyond just these videos or posts. I, I just don't get it. <laughs> and that's why if I had to make my own assumption back at the hater, I have no choice but to really assume that this person is projecting something from their own life onto me because why else would they feel so passionate about saying something so mean to someone else. The hate comments that I would say are the ones that really get to me are the ones that almost kind of validate things my inner voice or inner demon has been saying to me and the fact that someone else kind of pointed it out or validated it is when it's kind of like, oh. And one of the more recent hate comments that I received recently that I can remember and I feel like has actually stuck with me for a few days and I still remember it to this day is one that said, oh, you don't actually deserve the opportunities that you have because you only exist in the industry to appeal to a demographic that is needed, which is being a woman and anyone else who has the same skill levels as you or is better can easily take your job away from you, but you only exist because you're a young, attractive woman. And if it weren't for that, you wouldn't be employed at your job right now. And to that, I would like to say, you think I'm attractive? Okay, but for reals, I felt like it really bothered me just because it's something that I've honestly felt insecure about myself because when I work at these studio jobs, I'm not really allowed to show any of my storyboards for as long as I'm working on the project. And even after the project has been released and shown to people, I'm still kind of like not sure if I'm allowed to show it and I'm afraid of getting in trouble. And I feel like that hasn't really allowed me to show what I'm truly capable of when it comes to storyboarding or like the things that I keep talking about on my channel. Meanwhile, I'm just posting fucking draw with me's and stupid comics on Instagram. And I'm talking about, oh, I'm a storyboard artist in animation. And I just got promoted to being an assistant director, but I feel like I have nothing on my social media to really prove it. And the last thing I really wanna do at the end of a work day is just keep making more storyboards just to prove to people that I'm capable of doing them when really at the end of the day, I would just rather do my own decompressing things, which is why doing draw with me's and comics is just more fun for me, but I'm aware that at the same time, they don't fully showcase like what I'm actually getting paid to do. So when I read that hate comment, it really did strike me just because I felt like to some degree, hey, well, they're kind of right. Because if I were someone just looking at my art based on what I post on my YouTube and Instagram, I would be wondering like, hey, so this woman is saying that she's a storyboard artist. Where the fuck are the storyboards? So when I read a comment like that, it just made me think, oh, this person probably really assumes that whatever they see based on my YouTube and Instagram is just literally what I do at work as a storyboard artist, which is untrue because I just was not able to get the chance to show what I've been doing at work yet to show that I'm actually qualified for the job that I got fucking hired for. And I am qualified for what I'm doing regardless of my ethnicity, gender, or whatever. So yeah, at first what the person said hurt because it really aligned with whatever my imposter syndrome self would say to myself. But then after further digestion of what I just went through, 
I started to defend myself more and no, I did not respond to the person just because again, I just don't feel like someone that irrelevant and that willing to say something so bold about me when they don't even know who I am doesn't deserve that energy yet here I am making a fucking video about them. But the point is for education. I dealt out with it in my head and through journaling and writing because I knew that who I was really fighting was not this hater. It was the devil, the demon girl in my head who says the same exact thing that this hater wrote on my YouTube channel. This YouTube person that wrote it was just one of the little minions that my little devil brain sent out into the physical world. And I know this person is wrong because I know the people who hired me and in fact I work with them pretty much every day of my life to know that I am qualified for the position beyond just my gender or ethnicity. I don't think this person is someone who works in the industry if they have that type of belief so it's very obvious that they're not the person who hired me or works in the same project as me to know that shit. And eventually, I would like to share with the world what I've been working on on these various projects. It's just timing has not been allowing me to do so because when I was assigned to these projects, they weren't even out in the world yet. So I'm not allowed to show any boards or reveal anything until either the project is released. So yeah, this comment happened sometime last year and I've already put it to rest, but I wanted to share it anyway as a little whole story slash learning lesson for anyone who, I don't know, is thinking about posting a hate comment but wants to know what it does to people when you do so, or if you're someone who is actually dealing with a hate comment right now. But I just want to ask, like, why do we always put the angel on our shoulders as like the third wheeler of our relationship with the devil in our brain like we always for some reason get immediately attracted to negative comments or hateful comments about us like for some reason we're just always drawn to it like why do we always just pay so much more attention to those than the other 500 155 i don't know people who actually just care about you and are rooting for you like why do we not think about those people as much and there was someone who actually once told me this was for every one hate comment you read immediately respond to like 10 other positive comments like just drop everything forget the hate comment and go thank the 10 people or so who actually showed their appreciation and support towards you, which I honestly think is what we should do more often instead of just focusing so much on the hateful ones. And that's not to say that we should ignore things when it comes to like constructive criticism because I think that is very much needed to grow, although you don't need to listen to every single one, but the ones that you know are directed to help you grow in a better direction, those are good to consider. So that's not to be confused with hate comments. Honestly, that can be its own video, but that's all I really have to say for now about dealing with hate comments and my personal experience with one. So if you're dealing with any negativity right now, I just want to let you know that you should go immediately immediately respond to those other five, ten people who are actively supporting you right now and be grateful for them and not the other bitches, not bishes.